we want to find the equation of the given function graphed here in blue using the sine or cosine function. And we'll find our equation in one of these two forms where the absolute value of a is the amplitude, two pi divided by b is the period, c affects the vertical shift, and d affects the horizontal shift. We want to begin by focusing on one piece of the graph which we'll use to build our function. And notice at x equals zero we have a maximum function value of positive two. And notice the basic cosine function graphed here in red also has a maximum function value at x equals zero. So let's focus on this piece of the graph to build our function. Even though we don't have one complete cycle of our function to the right, we can use the piece to the left to find all the information that we need. Notice how the midline is the x-axis and therefore the distance from the midline to the maximum and the distance from the midline to the minimum is two units and because we have a maximum function value at x equals zero, just like the basic cosine function, there's no reflection across the midline and therefore a is equal to positive two. Well, remember the absolute value of a is the amplitude. So a is equal to positive two Next, we already noticed the midline is the x-axis, which means there's no vertical shift, and therefore c is equal to zero. And because we have a maximum function value at x equals zero, just like the basic cosine function, there's also no horizontal shift, and therefore d would also be equal to zero. So the last thing we need to find is b, where two pi divided by b is equal to the period. And again, we can't tell the period looking to the right of the y-axis, so let's look on the left side. Notice how we have one complete cycle of our transformed cosine function from x equals negative six to x equals zero. And notice how this horizontal distance is six units. And therefore the period is equal to six, which means two pi divided by b must equal six. To solve for b, let's begin by multiplying both sides by b. Notice how this gives us two pi equals six b. Dividing both sides by six, we have b equals two pi divided by six, which simplifies to pi over three. So now that we know a, c, d, and b, we can now write the equation of our function. We would have y equals a, which is positive two, times cosine of, here we have b times the quantity x minus d. Well, we know b is pi over three, but since d equals zero, we would just have pi over three times x, and then c is also zero. So this would be the equation of the given function graphed here in blue. I hope you found this helpful.